Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anthony Chinedu. Today I'm going to show you how to use Gopher Core University online learning platform. I'm going to show you how to get your username and password, how to create a new password, also how to reset your password in case you forget your password, how to enroll for a course, how to take a course and also how to complete a course. The first step is to visit the university website. You can use your mobile phone to access the website or your laptop computer or your tablet. When you visit the university website, www.goeni.edu.ng, you scroll down under quick links you click on online learning to take you to the online learning platform and to log in you click on my account then log in so to get your username and password you check your email address that's the email on your university ERP profile now, so we're going to send the username and password. So when you get to your mail, on your inbox, you see a mail from GoUni Online Learning Platform. When you click on it, you will see a link, a reset link. This link enables you to create a new password for your online learning platform. In case you do not see the mail on your inbox, you can check your spam mail. So when you click on the link, it will redirect you to a page where you create a new password. So to create a new password, you type in a password you can easily remember. When you create a new password, it's advisable to copy the password and save it somewhere. Then you click on reset and click on back to go in the online learning platform. So you have successfully created a password for your go in the online learning platform. Then to log in again, click on my account, click on login. And you type in your username the way you have it on your mail that's the username here you type it the same way you have it on your mail and your username is your original number without slash U19 that's CSC2021 then type in your, your password the one you just created so if in any case you forget your password just use this link to create a new password and you click on login on successful login it will take you to your account page that's your profile page on the online learning platform as you can see there's no course i've not enrolled for any course and when you scroll down you can see all the courses uploaded so the way you register your courses online you search for the course you choose the course and register is where you also search the online learning platform for the courses you're taking that semester and enroll for the courses so the only difference is when you go to the university portal you register the course but on the online learning platform you enroll for the course so to enroll you click on all courses when you click on all courses, it will show you all the courses uploaded. Then you can search for the courses you want to enroll for. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use GST 108, that's philosophy and logic. So when you click on the course you want to enroll, the course will display 
when you move down as you can see the current status is what not enrolled and to have access to this course must log in and click on take this course so if you are taking philosophy and logic for second semester or first semester and click on take this course so when you click on take this course you have automatically enrolled for the course and when you scroll down you can see the first lesson is introduction and under introduction we have four topics you can click on expand when you click on expand you see the lesson content so to take the first lesson which is introduction i will click on each topic so when you click on what is logic you have started taking this course now on the left hand side shows you the steps under the first lesson and under the first lesson we have four topics under the second lesson we have two topics under the third lesson we have one topic and the last lesson we just have one topic and the status is in progress how many steps to complete this course we have to start steps to take in order to complete this particular course so now you can read on and when you are done with this first page you click on mark complete when you mark complete it will take you to the next topic and the next topic on this course is brief history of logic as you can see in progress you can go back to the previous topic you scroll down after reading you click on mark complete or back to lesson or previous topic when you click on mark complete to take you to the next topic so if there's any video element or image or quiz or assignment you will see it here then when you get to the quiz or assignment you click on it then you see the instruction on how to do the quiz or submit your assignment but in this case there's no assignment or quiz attached to this course so you can move to the last lesson here click on the last lesson please you please go back and complete the previous lesson because this lecturer said you must complete all the topics before you move to the next lesson so you cannot jump you have to follow it lesson by lesson topic by topic until you complete the step to 100 percent then click on back and you continue with the course so this is all about enrolling for a course and taking the course until you complete the course so in case you want to enroll for all the courses you are doing for that semester because somehow taking one course in a row just go back to all courses and you scroll down you're going to take just 101 for this semester you can see you have not enrolled for this course that's why zero percent complete if you move down to logic and philosophy you can see it's already enrolled that's the status of the course and 16 percent complete so the online learning platform tracks your progress and to enroll for another course and click on the course when you click on the course not enroll that's the current status so to enroll you do what you click on take this course so for instance if you are taking 11 courses for second semester what you do is to use the all courses to enroll for all the courses you're taking for the semester see this course we just have 
one lesson with two topics. I can just click on the first topic and start taking this lesson. You can decide to use your normal university timetable to take the course on Mondays. You take the courses you have on Monday. On Tuesdays, you take the courses you have on Tuesdays. It will be easier for you to complete your courses for the semester. And to log out my account, then you click on log out. To log in again, you click on my account and log in. Then you log in with your username and password. We are adding the courses online in case you don't have to panic, you have to wait and keep on checking online for the course. Thank you for watching this tutorial. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to take a quiz and also how to submit your assignment and also how to join a course forum. Course forum enables you to interact with your lecturers and also then taking the same course. Thank you for watching this tutorial.